Okay, fifth graders, we're starting 15-3, and I think you guys will enjoy this. You'll recognize uh, what we're doing here. We're creating um, ordered pairs, and they even talk about that here. But we've actually actually been doing that for a while. I mean, if you go back to uh, the problem solving from just the other day, you can see that what we're creating are ordered pairs. In other words, these are uh, um, numbers or locations that we can um, find on a graph. And, and that's what we're going to be doing in 15.3 here. We're going to be doing um, some graphing after we find our ordered pairs. Let's look at the first example they talk about here. It says Jill's earning $5 uh, per hour babysitting and Robin earns $15 per hour uh, teaching ice skating lessons. The girls make a table using the add five rule to show Jill's earnings and the rule to add 15 to show Robin's earnings. And so... Um, so, of course, if they haven't worked anything, they get nothing. But after an hour, Jill's earned 5 and Robin's earned 15. After two hours, Jill's earned 10 and Robin's earned 30. Because remember, she's making $15 an hour. Well, then they go ahead and just graph these. And I'm jumping down to see here, uh, graph the ordered pairs. Um, Let's see here. Well, let me go back to B. It says, compare the numbers in Jill's and Robin's sequences. Each uh, sequence begins with zero. Remember the zero, zero right here? That's the origin. That's what we would call it. Um, and then it says, generate the ordered pairs from the total amount Jill and Robin have earned after each hour. So zero, zero, of course, that's the very first point. The second point is 515. And then 10, 30, 15, 45, 20, 60. Remember that, do you remember what the first number is always on the graph? It's always X. And the second number is always Y. And so then they, they graph it here for us. Jill's earnings. This is the X value. Okay, right here. And then uh, Robin's earnings are the Y value. And then you just simply graph them. So um, let's take a look here to convince me what does the point zero zero represent? Um, you know, no earnings. No earnings, they haven't worked anything. So I, you know, it's also called the origin. Um, so I think that's pretty straightforward. Let's take a look here at the guided practice. In the example on page 602, how, uh, what ordered pair would you write to show how much Jill and Robin um, have earned after five hours? Well, let's go back to it. After five hours, how many hours are they accounting for here? So here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four. So then we would need to make extend this a little bit and do something for five hours. Now you guys can figure that out. Tell me what that ordered pair would be. I think that's a good question. Um, and this is, I'm not going to do a whole lot more with this lesson, actually, because um, I think you guys get this. All right, so that's a good class craft question there. Um, let's see here. Uh, ben says that the relationship Jill earns is one third as much as Robin. Do you agree? So Jill one-third as much as Robin okay so she's making I had to go back and look for a second she's making five dollars an hour um, Jill five dollars an hour and Robin was uh, fifteen dollars an hour is five one-third of fifteen it sure is five over fifteen if I was to reduce that, 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 15 three times. That reduces down to one-third. Um, so, yes, I agree, and there's an example why. Um, how do you know? Sam and Eric record the total number of miles they walked in one week. Sam walks two miles each day. Eric walks four miles each day. What ordered pair represents the number of miles each has walked? Well, um, let's... Let's make a graph here, okay? And this is something you would, you know, do on your paper, okay? And so, um, 
let's see here and I'm gonna split it right down the middle or close to the middle here and uh, then I'm just gonna draw some some lines here separating seven days here so I'm gonna guess see there's there's and I'll probably do zero zero for day one looks like I might end up with more than seven but that's okay who knows maybe they're gonna ask us about day eight or day nine or day ten okay it's not perfect and I could have just hand drawn it but it looks a little bit neater okay so I'm gonna put Sam here okay Sam and then who's the other guy uh, Eric all right, and Sam and Eric record total number of miles they walk in one week. Sam walks two miles a day. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put um, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. And Eric, four miles a day, so four, eight uh 12 16 20 24 and 28 okay and then what's the question here what ordered pair represents the number of miles each has walked and all after seven days all right well let's take a look here let's Let's count the days here. So here's day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. What ordered pair represents the number of miles each has walked in all after seven days? Okay, so after seven days, there's the ordered pair. It's 14, comma, 28. Okay. And so I'm just going to put down 14, comma, 28. Oops, put that in the wrong spot. 14, comma, 28. Okay, uh, what's the relationship you notice between the total number of miles Sam and Eric each have walked? Well, um, Eric, I think it's pretty straightforward, is walking two times as much as Eric. No, as Sam, sorry. S-A-M, okay. Okay, so um, I think this is all pretty straightforward. Um, you guys can do this. Let me see here. I'm gonna look for another class craft question here. Megan and Scott go fishing, camp, five fish an hour, four fish after that. Complete the table. Okay, so I want to know after one or after two, three, and four hours what the table would be. So you guys could do that. Um, what ordered pair represents the total number of fish they caught after four hours? Well, that'll be on the table. You could do that. Um, what's the relationship? Let's see, the pattern continues. Until Scott's total is 29 fish. What ordered pair represents the number of fish they each caught when Scott's total is 29? There's another one. I like that one. Okay. And last page. Um, let me see here. Snack shack, frozen yogurt, fruit cups. Um, okay, so you're going to have to figure out what's missing what's missing um take a look at this here from 20 to 30 what was added ten dollars so what do you think would go right there in the very first entry and from here to here what's added it's 15. and so what do you think would go right here yeah you guys could do that i'm going to highlight these i want to know uh, what the missing values, what are the missing values in the table? Okay. 
All right, I think that's about it. Um, graph the ordered pairs. Okay, so try graphing it. Um, you'd make yourself a graph here. Okay, so make, make yourself a simple graph. And um, one would have an X value, one would have a Y value. Yeah, you guys could do this. Okay, that's it. A little over 10 minutes long. Um, you guys answer the rest of those questions, and we will grade this Friday morning.